Hey guys, my name is John Blaber. I work here at McGrath Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Today I have the all new 2020 Jeep Gladiator Rubicon Edition. Let's get right into it. Now, first things first, you're gonna see that it does have the redesigned front end here. So this is Jeep's first truck since 1992. Their last one was the Comanche. Um, compared to the Jeep JL Wrangler body style, you're gonna see that it is a widened grille. The reason for that is gonna be for towing. So this truck has a towing capacity of 7650. That's also gonna be coupled with about 1600 pounds worth of payload too. So that's, both those numbers are best in class for this section, as well as it's the only open air pickup truck on the market. So we're super proud of it, Jeep's super proud of it. Let's swing around the side here. So a couple things, this is a, obviously a Rubicon edition, so you're gonna see that it's got the stock 33 inch uh, Falcon mud train tires with the Rubicon rims as well. Rubicon badging all over it. Now, looking at the doors here on the driver and the passenger side, you're gonna see that this has the proximity entry. So you just have the, the key in your pocket or purse, walk right up to it, slide your hand in, automatically unlocks, push the button and it automatically locks for you. So super simple there as far as getting in and out of it. It does have your traditional freedom panels, just like the JL Body Style Wrangler, but it's also got this back part here, which is also removable, um, just like your JL. There is a couple different top options for the Gladiator, so it is gonna be pretty much just like the JL Body Style Wrangler, to where you're gonna have a soft top, a premium Sunrider soft top, a hard top, which is gonna to be a black three piece, and then this one actually has the body matching hard top. So same style of tops as the JL Wrangler, uh, and they look pretty good this year, and they're also lighter as well. And then swinging back here, you're gonna see that they did lengthen it by a little over 19 inches uh, from the JL body style Wrangler frame. And you're gonna see that we have a five foot box here on the back. So the cool thing about this box is there is a bed utility group available for it. There's an LED lighting group available for it. There's even a bed liner available for it from the factory. You do have a redesigned tail light here and a dampened tailgate too. Now, swinging around this side, you'll see that you do have a 115 volt power outlet back here. So that's really nice if you ever need to power anything. It's gonna make it super simple for you. Now, putting this up, this does have a mode to where if you're backing up a trailer or whatever else it is, on both sides that you can lock these in, that way your backup camera is right down on your hitch, making it even easier. You don't have to take two people anymore to back up to a trailer. Now, stepping here on the inside, a couple things you're gonna notice. So it's gonna look pretty much just like a Rubicon uh, Wrangler, but you're gonna notice a few different things. So, first things first, these seats flip up. You're gonna see that you have under seat storage. Now, the really neat thing about that is that is removable, and you can also lock it with the, the vehicle key. Now, same goes for the exact opposite. So if you lower that seat and then lower the top part of it, you'll see that this is also lockable. You have to drop your headrest, pull this little loop right here, and you see you have even more storage behind there. That is also lockable. So the nice thing is you can lock your stuff in there. You don't have to worry about people stealing it, people messing with it. You're gonna feel nice and safe with it. This does have the optional Bluetooth speaker, which is kind of neat. I don't think any other Jeep's ever been offered with them before, so this would be the first one. Now, stepping up here on the inside, you're gonna see that you have the leather all the way around. Towards the center there, you've got the 8.4 inch, that is the 8.4 with nav two, brand new for the Jeep Gladiator, uh, as well as you do see eight speed automatic transmissions and six speed manuals. As of right now, there is just the 3.6 liter Pinastar, um, however, they are gonna be adding possibly the 3.0 Eco Diesel here later on this year. This is a Rubicon, so it's got the sway bar disconnect, the off-road modes, all that different stuff. Now let's hop inside and actually look at the off-road pages. All right, and this is one of my favorite features here on the inside. This is the Jeep off-road pages. So you get to hear just through your apps menu, but you see it's got all your drivetrain information. So the cool thing about that has your steering angle, has your front axle, whether they're locked, unlocked, sway bar connected, disconnected, your steering angle, um, where your, your transfer case is, so we're in four low. Um, it also gives you your longitude and latitude, even your altitude, and then also all your accessory gauges too. So the nice thing about that is when you're off-roading and say you slam down on a rock or something and you're thinking, ooh, maybe, maybe that hurts something, you can actually keep an eye on stuff from the cab, make sure that nothing's getting too hot or going crazy. And then also you have your pitch and roll there too. So you can get an exact measurement on that. Other than that, pretty simple. A lot of really informa interesting information in here. That's why it's one of my favorite things. 
And again, my name is John Blaber out here at McGrath Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. You can check out this Gladiator and a bunch of others like it. They're dropping every day at McGrathAuto.com. Thanks for checking it out.